My model for playing is is based on a psychedelic experience also. My, my model for, like when I go on stage, what am I trying to accomplish? Okay, here's the story. <laughs> And there's one time we played, it, it was, we were playing at the old Fillmore, and it was after Bill Graham wasn't running it anymore. So, so it was some independent, like a hippies, some, some hippies, local hippies, ha, uh, rented it for some cause or another or whatever. Anyway, we were playing there, it was with, but Bill, Bill wasn't running it. So it was a little, a little bit strange, and uh, there, like, some weird bands were playing on the same bill with us, like maybe, like at that time, say, like the Flaming Groovies or somebody like, you know what I mean? Some of the bands that were happening back at that time, this like the late 60s, uh, or the middle late 60s. Uh, so somebody, some this guy who was like sort of a famous freak in, in, that ran around the scene in those days, comes in and he's got this big birthday cake. He's got this huge big birthday cake. You know, you'll look, I'm looking at it and thinking, That's got, that thing has got to be dosed. I just know this, this sucker. I know it's, I know it's dosed, you know. I'm looking at it and looking at it and looking at it and thinking, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm sure it's done. I said, and then I said, but it, it looked good. You know, it was beautiful, this beautiful big, you know, so I thought, ah, well, I'll just, I'll just take a little, a little of the frosting here, you know, just, just you know, <laughs> I'll just take a little snack. <laughs> so I took this and then somebody comes in and says, yeah, we put, uh, about 800 hits of acid in that frosting, you know, and I go, oh, oh, God, you know, I'm gonna, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna be totally fucking wiped out with this, you know, and, and by this time, I didn't really enjoy playing, uh, you know, under the influence of psychedelics, because I didn't have the freedom to quit if I wanted to, it wasn't really that much fun to play when you, when you don't have the option, you know, when you don't have options, so, I mean, it, it uh, it, it wasn't something I was looking forward to, and and so I'm sitting there and I'm waiting to play, and we're we're going and later. It gets getting later and later and later, and I'm coming on now. I'm going on like for wow, the place is wow, swimming, and and I start to hear the overhear people, you know, and I, I'm going, all going off in this paranoid space. I, I think, God, this place is full of mafia guys, and they're all trying to kill me, you know. <laughs> I got that notion in my head, you know. This guy, you know, this guy comes in. He's, he looks, he looks exactly like a mafia guy. You know, he says, "Here, you want something to drink?" And I look at it, oh, poison. You know, that, no, no, th no, thanks. You know, <laughs> it's like everybody is armed to the teeth. They're all trying to kill me. Okay, so and we're <laughs> I'm waiting there, going, "Oh shit, I'm, this is it. This is my last life, night on earth." You know, I'm convinced of this now. Yeah, <laughs> still in this house, like a like, roar. You know. And so we're going out on stage, you know, to go play, and I'm I'm going out there, and I'm thinking, oh god, you know, Jesus, what have I done to deserve this? You know, I'm going to go out there and play, and they're going to fucking kill me, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I go out, and the only thing I could think of to do was I I, I said, okay, I, I'm just going to play for my life. I'm going to play for my life. That's what I'm going to do, you know. And so I played for my life, and they let me live. <laughs> Ever since then, you know, I mean, that, so that, you know, ever since then, I thought, th that works, you know, for me, is to, to play for my life. You know, so, you know, that, that uh, you know, when I forget what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, I, I play for my life.